Bucks continue to lead that game by double digits. A few minutes ago in Oakland, Kevin Durant addressed the media with an update on his knee. What's up? All right, uh, guys and gals, let's keep this uh, uh, relatively short. A few minutes all right, uh, Kevin, Steve said earlier that you kind of were able to ride the bike a little bit and work up a little bit of a sweat. So how are you feeling right about now? Oh, I feel better. You know, um, it's only been a week. So, you know, just trying to take my time, take it a day at a time and just get better. You know, that's just uh, that's the name of the game for me right now. Just keep grinding every single day and, you know, uh, just keep, you know, gaining strength in the rest of my body. And, you know, hopefully my knee, my knee heals uh, pretty quick from the time of the injury to the time you found the results? Uh, well, obviously, I didn't know. You know, I, you know, I've, guys fell on my legs before, and it's not as bad. And so this time, I knew it was a little different when I ran up and down the court. When I got to the back, it stiffened up real quick. And, you know, so it was a pain I never felt before. Um, but I knew I'd been through this before. So um, no matter what it was, no matter what the doctor said or what the MRIs and the scan said that I knew I would, you know, be ready for this journey to just get back. So, you know, no matter what, I was going to conquer it and work extremely hard every single day to try to get back on the court. But uh, I wouldn't say nervous. I was just real anxious to see what it was. Um, first, first it was a, uh, it was tough news first, but then you know they came back and by the grace of God, I, it was it wasn't as bad as we thought. So. That was a positive, and I just try to look at that and stay positive throughout this whole situation and just keep working. Kevin, when the team's on the road, where do you watch the games? And are you like a nervous wreck, or are you kind of chilled out? Or you, uh, and no. when they're here, what, what do you uh, uh, I got a nice little spot on my couch. I watch the games now. Um, so I, was, I wouldn't say I was a nervous wreck. I, definitely uh, when, we, when we lost um, to Chicago, uh, it was tough. We had that game. I felt like we should have won that game, but hey, but it's good to bounce back against New York and Atlanta and to come home for one game. So uh, it was exciting to see the team come together um, against New York and Atlanta. That was fun to watch. And uh, tonight I'll be watching in the back. Uh, so hopefully we get a W. You, you yell at the screen and stuff when you're watching. Uh, yeah, I do. Uh, it was it was it was fun um, watching the team, and I didn't feel like an NBA player these last. This last week, but to be be with the guys in the locker room today and you know be around the team felt great. You mentioned the initial diagnosis. How long did you think you were potentially going to be out for the year? And then when you finally heard that it wasn't like that, what was that? that was a crucial. It was probably 30 minutes where I thought that it was uh, I have to go through this long rehab, um, you know, um, to to get back on the court. And then I got a call and said it wasn't as bad. So. That kind of eased my mind a little bit, and uh, you know. But like I said, either way, um, I knew it was something I had to conquer. I knew I had to work extremely hard to get back. I still do, no matter no matter what. And you know, uh, I've been through it before. So you know, it's the reason why I'm here now is that I work extremely hard, and you know, so there's nothing different. It's just you know trying to get my knee right and get my body right, and you know, hopefully I'll be back to play soon. Kevin. Kev Nap. Have you noticed any improvement yet? And how confident are you that you'll be back before the end of the regular season? Um, I'm not even trying to put a date on it, man. I'm just however I feel, you know. I'm just setting goals every single day, you know. Just try to, you know, it was uh, to straight, straighten my leg out. It, that was a big goal of mine just th throughout this week. And I was able to accomplish that and to, uh, you know, get some range of motion as I, you know, bent my leg. So that was a. That was a key for me. So I'm just trying to set these small goals day by day, and I'll, I'll, I'll get back to playing. I'll worry about that whenever I feel good, but I'm, I'm just, you know, taking it a day at a time. Um, Kevin, S Steve mentioned you were on the bike today. What, what is sort of your – is your daily routine different each day? And, and also, how much have your spirits been lifted by getting the regular text messages from the guys? And, and Steve said he's checking in on you all the time. I mean, it could be a lot worse, man. Uh, a lot of things could have happened, you know. I could, it could be a lot worse. So, you know, was, I hurt my knee. Yeah, a lot of guys go through this throughout the season. A lot of injuries, you know. It's not, it's not, not nothing for anybody to be be concerned about. You know, I got, I got a boo boo playing basketball. Uh, you know, it is, it is what it is, man. It's, 
it's just you know so i'm okay you know my spirits are good i mean my family's good i'm you know i'm doing what i love to do every single day so it's all right uh, but as far as my routine every day just you know uh just trying to strengthen like i said the muscles around you know my lower body and you know just trying to uh get that range of motion back in my leg and my knee so it's a process that i'm uh I'm looking forward to, you know, getting through and, you know, hopefully soon uh, I'll be able to get back out there and play. Kevin, obviously this team is gunning for a championship. You you came here to win a championship. It, obviously your knee is going to tell you, but do you feel confident you'll be close to 100% say by May when, I, when the important rounds are coming up? I mean, I'm not even thinking about that right now. I know that's what everybody wants to know, uh, you know, they're wondering. But um, whenever my body tells me I'll be ready to play, that's when I'll be ready to play. So I'm not – I'm not really thinking it too far down the line. I'm just worried about I had a great day today and, you know, and I look forward to having a good one tomorrow. So that's just that's what I'm thinking about at this point. Kevin, you, you seem like you're in good spirits, but the uh, the setbacks you've had in years past when it comes to the mental side, I mean, does that help now in terms of just keeping your mind right and, and not getting too frustrated during this process? I mean, I had one injury. Uh, well, no, I didn't. I had three <laughs> foot surgeries, and that was tough to go through because it was my first one, first time being out and, you know, um, going under going under and getting surgery. So that was tough. That was different. But now, I mean, I didn't have to go. I didn't have to get a surgery. So, um, you know, I'm just rehabbing every single day. So it's not as bad, and it could be worse, like I said. So mentally, I'm good. I'm in a good place. Um I'm not playing right now, which is tough because I love to play. <clears throat> but, um, you know, I'm getting better day by day, and uh, I'll be out there as soon as I'm ready to play. Uh, Kevin, your therapy, does it include any kind of sort of new agey things like cryotherapy or hyperbaric chambers or anything like that? Um, keep that in-house. Uh Kevin, you mentioned uh, thinking the diagnosis is worse for a crucial 30 minutes. Was that diagnosis a fractured uh, fractured knee? W what was the diagnosis you thought was worse before they changed it? I'll keep that in the house, too. So what do, what do you do now as far as what does your daily day consist of? And then also, what is the next step of your rehab? Include? I'm just... Um, I just do treatment on my knee and um, lift weights and shooting the shooting the chair. I shot in the chair the other day, so I just gotta keep this jumper right. And uh, yeah, that's what that's what I've been doing. I'm, I'm sure that's what I'll be doing the next few days. But um, you know, next two weeks, I don't. I really don't know. Like I said, I'm just taking a day at a time. So we'll we'll see what happens, man. I'm I'm, I'm looking forward to conquering this thing and you know uh, getting better day by day and you know putting in the work every single day and you know getting back out there and playing and um, enjoying the game with my teammates and playing as hard as I can for these fans. So, um, you know, we'll see what happens in the next few weeks. I watch a lot of TV, watch a lot of movies, man, play a lot of video games, stuff I like to do. Uh, it's pretty good. Uh, just chilling. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. Kevin, uh, a lot of guys, when they get hurt and can't play, they become couch coaches. You know, they watch the games and they look at things. Have you been able to do that, or is that something you try not to do? Uh, I watch the games, but yeah, I watch the games. I know basketball, but I'm not, I'm not the smartest player there is. But uh, I'm learning a lot from watching and seeing, seeing different things um, from the outside. The game is a little faster when you're playing, so you don't, you don't realize what you're doing sometimes. But, you know, when you watch, it slows down a bit and you can see what's going on. And I'm sure that'll help me once I come back, just just seeing the tendencies of my teammates and just the flow of the game. And, you know, so it'll definitely help. Great. If everybody can stay seated so you can 